Hey guys, in this video there will not be any explosions that you like so much. I'll just show you the forming of potassium and uh, cesium ozonides that are quite unique in organic compounds and uh, totally worth your attention. Uh, but before we move on to the lab, I'd like to thank you for your financial support that allowed me to purchase a professional light. Uh, I almost got rid of that annoying flicker thanks to it. Ah! Potassium ozonite can be prepared at low temperatures by ozone treatment of dry potassium hydroxide. Well, guys, to get potassium ozonite in this reaction, I will use potassium hydroxide and I will melt it to remove water stains as much as possible. In order to make the reaction of potassium ozonite form invisible, potassium hydroxide must be cooled down to room temperature or lower. Actually, this reaction should have been performed in a glass tube, but to make it more vivid, I will perform it on a watch glass. See what happens when I supply ozone through this glass tube. Ozone! 3, 2, 1, go! A very thin layer of potassium ozonite is forming on potassium hydroxide. It is yellow, but turns red when the concentration is increased. Let me put it closer to the source of ozone so that you can observe a more saturated coloring. Now I'll turn out the subline of ozone and potassium ozonite will decompose quickly due to humidity and not low enough temperature. Potassium ozonite is quite an unstable compound and sometimes it decomposes with an explosion. With a bigger yield, potassium ozonite can be get from potassium superoxide, because in this case, unlike in the reaction with potassium hydroxide, we will not get any water as a reaction product, but decomposes potassium ozonite. Also, potassium ozonite forms when ozone is passed through the solution of potassium that, for its part, is dissolved in liquid ammonia. As well as other alkali metals, potassium is soluble in liquid ammonia. This dissolving results in a dark blue color and forming of potassium amide that makes blue color turn white very quick.
Tassim is a knight that is formed during the reaction may be seen as orange red inclusions on the tube walls in white potassium amide. Stability of alkali metal as a knight increases in the growth from lithium to cesium. Take a look at these seemingly harmless grey crystals. Well, actually, cesium hydroxide, which is an extremely strong alkali. Considering that cesium ozonite is the most stable of all ozonites, we should observe the most saturated bright red coloring possible when it forms. Cesium hydroxide deliquescence because of the water that forms during the reaction. Form cesium ozonite as a quite appetizing look to our cesium hydroxide crystals. When the temperature rises above 70 degrees Celsius, cesium ozonite completely decomposes into cesium superoxide and oxygen. Now, if I add water into ozonated cesium hydroxide, you can see a barely noticeable exhalation of gas bubbles. This is oxygen. Thanks for watching, commenting and supporting me. Thanks to you, the quality of my videos increases as well as the number of unique chemical reactions that you happen to see on my channel. See you in the next video.